January 21st, just about 9.30 a.m. Check out this beautiful day. Check out that Jeep with its new 35 inch tires. Hells yeah. We're in the Prairie Creek area. Gonna try this idle wild mountain bullshit again. <laughs> Failed twice already. One year later, we're yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna carry my snowshoes down to the trailhead because I Plus think won't go across I here. think we'll be using them. That's you for sure. All right, here we go in the cut line. I'm gonna try and go all the way up there and get up on the mountain, but <laughs> this is already like damn. Now I remember why we kept failing here. <laughs> Show them your fancy hiking stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful views. Following some sort of animal tracks. Tracks. The animal tacks. So I was saying. Not sure what it is. The higher up we get, the harder packed the snow is, which is nice. We're staying on top of it a bit better. You can see the cut line there. Just gonna keep pressing on. We made it to this tree tunnel. I think that's the top of the cut line where we'll hopefully make it to the ridge. Ooh, working hard today. Hey, watch your stick, man. <laughs> So far, this is about the deepest the snow gets. This is a major improvement since last time we were here, <laughs> which is kind of sad. Yeah, she's deep. Sean's making me break the trail the whole way. Because <laughs> I'm smart. It's because you ate that 7 Eleven sandwich and you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, welcome to the top of the cut line, bitches! First time! Woo! First milestone of the day! Furthest we've made it on this goddamn mountain yet! This mountain's like 1800 meters. That's not very big in terms of mountain. But because of the time of year we're choosing to do it, real dizzy. Oh yeah. We get a nice little flat section now. Not bad. There's the other end of the cut line. But we're gonna go to the left. Start going that way. More snow. More up. <laughs> More Christina in front. Oh yay. <laughs> Stopped here for a minute. It's fucking this. grueling. It was a beautiful day though, hey? Eh? Every time snowshoeing is <laughs> grueling. <laughs> We've been following some kind of animal track. They seem to know the way. Yeah, the Because they're like bang on the track. You stole my story. I was just about to say that. There is no <laughs> official trail here. There is a uploaded track on Topo Canada that we're following, so there have been like probably a handful of people who have actually gone up here and hiked. Not, I, not in the winter time. Well, no, not, not this year. I've read, I think there was only one blog on Google from like years ago, two guys hiked up here. And I think it was in the summer or late spring, something like that. But yeah, I highly doubt we're gonna encounter any people today. <laughs> Here's a conundrum. The sun is directly in our eyes. It's so bright. Gonna get snow blind out here. <laughs> Should have brought sunglasses. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so I just came from down there. We're definitely following the ridge. Don't know if we're gonna round our way up this, but we've come into the forest and there's dry ground. Well, bare ground, I guess. So we're gonna take our snowshoes off and 
see if we can gain some distance cutting through here, not having to trudge through the snow. Snowshoes are back on. Made it 100 meters. <laughs> We're gonna have to get through like here and get up on this bump. That little moment in the trees there with the ground was nice. Did help us gain a bit of time. I love you. Nobody up here. <laughs> Feel like these are bear tracks, possibly. I don't know though. Well, this one you can actually see the toe. You're looking at it upside down though. You can see it. Now you're gonna wreck it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. See the toe? If it's a bear, it's a big one because holy fuck. <laughs> Crazy. And we're just walking along. We've made a lot of progress. It's crazy, actually. Maybe I could do some kind of Photoshop magic to make it look like you're sitting on the top because <laughs> it's the one and only rock we've seen so far yeah. it's nice it's a nice boulder some nice views it's getting kind of windy up here though <laughs> are we <laughs> the end of where you'll go <laughs> just looking back when we were Skirting along here, you just have wide open views of the peaks. I'll have to show you on the way back because the view will be in our face. Right now we're only looking ahead at trees. I don't know, just keep trekking through here, I guess. It's a random ass tire up here. Is there anything in it? It's just wood. Huh. Okay. We believe the summit is in sight, so that's a, a saddle, and then it goes up right there. That's my summit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> we only have so much daylight in January, but that looks like a fine objective to me, and it probably is the top because I don't see anything else around. Oh, well, hopefully this is the final stretch. Well, we were down there, and then we noticed up here, Come up here the huh? snow is thinner. Yes. I think we're going up there, but don't even know if that's the top top. We'll have to see. Some nice views. This is pretty awesome for a winter snowshoe. We're not far from the, what's flagged as the summit, but I don't even know if the views will be much better because I think it's just a treed top. We still got time though before our turnaround time approaches, so we'll just keep going. The views walking along this ridge are just outstanding. There's peaks. My stomach is growling. So we got to climb up here, and then there's probably another climb after that. We're almost at our turnaround time. We're almost at our turnaround time, and then we are just heading more into the trees. And we have this incredible view in front of us right now. And we're both starving to death. of the ridge. <laughs> yeah. The summit probably looks something similar to that bump behind me, just like a treed hill, hey? Yeah. So, probably better off right where we are. And my calves feel like they're both just gonna go into double Charlie horse because <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> 
been a tough go. Real snowshoeing yeah. is not a good time. No. <laughs> this ain't no fucking Chester Lake. This is a goddamn... Uh, Frag Creek, everyone. Crusade that was. Crusade walking on ice. Mountain. We've never conquered this mountain. This is our third time trying. This is our fucking crusade. That's wild. It's idled wild. <laughs> a 10 year crusade through the mountain. For this 1800 meter peak. <laughs> <laughs> Should come back here when there is no snow. And just run up it. But then all we want to do in that kind of conditions is be out in those mountains. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll do this on like a rainy day or something. Or like an after work situation. <sighs> The perfect chair. Sat on my snow pants for a little cushion. <laughs> that was not a bad spot to have lunchtime. Hold up here though. Windy. But we must turn back now or else we'll be walking in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> in the spooky land. With no headlamp. The, Did we bring I headlamp? have my headlamp. Oh, you Do you? One. No, I didn't. Like I didn't bring a headlamp. That's why I told the you. The Chinook cloud makes it seem so much later than what it is. So it's sun. It's chilly. <laughs> when you stop moving. Oh, how I don't want to walk back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Dude, we got ourselves in deep here, hey? <laughs> Literally. Three hours deep. Oh, fuck. Well, guess we better stop talking about it and start walking it. So Sean thought it'd be smart to climb into the trees so he could enjoy about, I don't know, 10 seconds of snowshoes off. But he's way back there somewhere, still fiddling around with them. I stay down low. Oops, that's I stay down me. low. And just kept trucking through. It just takes too much time and energy taking stuff on and off. I'd rather just keep going. Sean just hollered up to me that I win. <laughs> well, I have a story, Ed. Don't take your snowshoes off. Don't take your snowshoes off. I know, I didn't. <laughs> And I stopped to take my coat off, strap it into my backpack, and made a video. <laughs> I thought it'd be way faster than it wasn't. No, and then it takes more energy. Yeah. It's annoying. But I'm glad you're the one who tested it out for the failing end. If you think coming back is any easier because we have our trail to follow. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> Because my legs are so done. <laughs> I, my calves feel like two balloons that are just going to explode. <laughs> We're going to die out here. <laughs> you don't need to go this far <laughs> snowshoeing. <laughs> it's kind of nuts. All right, making pretty good progress on the way back down. But I've fallen like three times. <laughs> Fatigue's just setting in. Whoa! Whoa, look at that bird! Oh my god! There he is. What kind of bird is that? Right there. He flew right over my head. Is it a blue jay? Look, yeah, look at him. I can't tell what color he is from here. I don't think it's a blue jay. He looks all the bear face. I don't know. It's not a blue jay. <laughs> It was a cute little bird though. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is not a hike you want to be doing in the dark because there's just leg breakers everywhere. So it was like a maintained trail and we had to hike the last little bit in the dark. It wouldn't be so bad, but this one you got to really watch where you're going because there's just heavy piles of deadfall under the snow and you like sometimes you have to place your snowshoe in such a way that it creates like a little bridge over the gaps so you don't fall in between and snap your leg. Oh, I'm gonna fall again. But uh, yeah, my back's going okay. Just wish I could like teleport back to the Jeep. 
Well, here's the view in front of us. What? What are you doing? I'm making a video. Okay. <laughs> so nice. The snow is just like sugar. It's like walking in deep sand. It's so heavy. So much better when it's hard, crusty snow, but we can't be so lucky today. Okay, so going downhill with snowshoes is horrendous. <laughs> it's so slippery. I keep falling and I'm starting to get really freaking pissed, man, if I fall one more time. <laughs> What are you gonna do? I'm gonna freak out. Freak out man. <laughs> I'm not, but we're going a lot quicker though. Like maybe we should have went to the top if I knew it was gonna be this quick coming down, but we still had a lot of elevation gain and deep snow and we really didn't even know if we were looking at the end, so oh that's a nice view behind me there. This is probably, it's probably a good call because we can really just take our time on our way back. We're not worried about losing daylight or anything. We're almost back, so it's pretty good. As long as I don't fall anymore, I'll be happy. But I've never fallen so damn much in my life. There really are some nice open views on this hike. What? Grab my hand. <laughs> so Ready? Heavy. One, two, Ugh. three. You're so three. heavy. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You weakling. You are making me pull you up. Let's You're go. not even trying. I am. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> I've gotten myself up from many a falls today. You will do the same, bitch. Yeah, but I don't have my stick. I didn't use a stick either. I crawled. You gotta crawl. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. Oh. There you go. I hate to jump to it. <laughs> Sean lost Merry his stick. Merry Christmas, bitch. <laughs> yes, this is a nice gift for us. <laughs> Alright, we actually, we lost our trail for a little bit there, so we had to do some more plowing, which was just dumb. <clears throat> and we're both just falling apart here. <sighs> but, it's a nice day. Look how freaking deep this is. God, I can't believe we've come up all this way. And again, it seemed like it was easier going up than coming back down. <laughs> right. Welcome back to the cut line, bitches. Just been motoring at the speed of lightning. How long to go down? Three hours to go up and probably an hour down. The road is the, is the road to there. But now we have the steepest part of our descent. Which is awesome. It is awesome, but I'm probably I'm probably just gonna fall like 50 times. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very unstable. <laughs> you look like you're walking on a ship. <laughs> put the phone oh. away. So you know when you get a Charlie horse when you're wearing flippers when you're swimming? Same thing with snowshoes in the deep downhill snow. My toes just went all psychotic. <laughs> but knock on wood haven't fallen yet so that's all right. Oh I see a car <laughs> or a truck. <clears throat> yeah not, not too bad I think because the snow is deep enough, you can kind of make little steps, but <laughs> yeah, there's a few little pits. And then I tried to catch myself and then my toes just all went into a trolley horse and it really sucked. Yeah, it's been pretty terrible coming down here. The snow is so slippery. 
zero traction and this is probably the steepest part right here but then that's the bottom that's the road <sighs> all right final push down oh man this hill was a giant suck fest to come down zero traction deep snow so look at this flat ground see how what's going on is your lead foot you're trying to dig in to stabilize but you just keep sliding and then the back foot is so buried in the snow that you can't lift it up out so you're like slowly going into the splits just dying <laughs> But uh, we're, we're done. We're almost to the road. Holy crap. I'm just looking back one more time. I really can't believe we went up all of this. So up there and then continued on beyond in deep snow, snowshoes on the whole time. That was... Idle waddle, bitch! Woo! Fucking right! I right, finally got these bitches off. Look at the top. <laughs> They're all the way up there. It's crazy. Just got a little short road walk. Probably in the summertime, we could park right here. So, yeah. Marker 24. Cut line. Boom. All right, we're back. 8.7 kilometers round trip with snowshoes on, deep okay. ass snow. Two feet of snow. Elevation. That's pretty damn good. Pretty happy with that. We got some really nice views. Um, didn't make it to the true summit yet. <laughs> we'll just have to come back when there's no snow just to say that we did it. Because it's like, damn you. But as far as I'm concerned, we did it. We completed the ridge. We did it. Which is, that's where the views were too. Yeah. But the top was just shrouded in trees. <laughs> that was a tough one for winter time. Not, I don't think a lot of people would do that just for fun. <laughs> no, that wasn't fun. <laughs> we didn't do that for fun. I had fun. We're on an epic conquest. <laughs> not, not fun. But yeah. Don't feel too bad either, but <laughs> need some water, that's for sure. It's eight degrees, bitches. January 21st. <laughs> but don't let that fool you. Second winter is, is coming. So it was nice to get out. But um, yeah, that was a good time. I would say if we were on a steeper um, slope, uh, we wouldn't have been able to do that in those snow conditions because it was, oh. That was definitely an uh, avalanche uh, conditions if we were in larger mountains surrounded by other larger mountains, but we didn't have any concerns about that today. But yeah, the snow kind of sucked. Oh, there's a cut line. See you. <laughs> All right, well, and that's it for Idlewilds. I guess we'll have to come back at some point and finally see what the top looks like. It'll probably be utterly disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in the summertime. <laughs> but you just can't leave it, you know, undone. So, but anyway, see you on the next one.